Celebrate Recovery. What an amazing ministry to be involved in. So tell us a bit about that and your experience with that. And then if there's anything else you want to add in or whatever, this, I'd love to hear about it. Why, sure. Yes, definitely. I'm, I'm just so excited to be able to, to share because I think a lot of people hear the word celebrate recovery and maybe just immediately think of addictions, ah. alcohol, alcoholism, or crack you know, mm-hmm. narcotics, mm-hmm. and it's like, ooh, I don't want to be anywhere near those people, right? Mm-hmm. You'll hear this mm-hmm. a, a lot in the testimonies. Okay. But the fact is that the statistics show that only 20% of the people who attend Celebrate Recoveries, and it's a worldwide organization, mm-hmm. it's been around for 30 years, mm-hmm. uh, it's amazing. Only about 20% of the attendees actually have a substance addiction. Wow. 20%. So who are the other 80%? Well, I, this will take a minute, but I want you to listen. It's, uh, it's all about relationships, right? When your relationships are failing and your life feels out of control and, and you don't know why. So you read through this and it says, Explore celebrate recovery and ask yourself whether you or someone you are in a close relationship with may be doing too much, owe too much, work too much, exercise too much, Hmm. spend too much, lust too much, sleep too much, fantasize too much, grieve too long, gamble too much feel used too often, act compulsively too often, become sad too often, lose control, become jealous, get manipulated too often, feel guilty, feel hopeless, feel trapped too often, feel unloved too often, feel like a failure too often worry too much, you give to others too much, you drink too much, you care too much, you smoke too much, you rush too much, you obsess too much, you diet too much, you seek excitement too often, you yell or scream and get angry too often, you act sexually inappropriately, you are greedy too often, you're feeling overwhelmed, you feel envious of others, you feel anxious, feel resentful, feel lonely too often, you feel unlovable, you feel worthless, you feel unattractive, and you feel unforgivable. So these are all relationship things. Wow. Mm-hmm. Relationships with others mm. is, is a reflection of your relationship with God. Mm. And that alone, God wants to change all that. Wow. And give you relationship with himself first, change your heart so you can relate and love others with his love, not yours, and without loving them through all your hurts and hang-ups and habits, because we can't. Hmm. We'll, we'll never love properly. Wow. So that is, to me, what Celebrate Recovery is. It's just, it, to me, it's another name for Jesus Christ. I have said huh. that wow. right from the get-go. Wow. It's all about Jesus hmm. and who he is and how he loves and how he wants us restored to what he created us to be. But the enemy has taken us down a, a far trip away from what God wants. So that's our program. Wow. And uh, so when are like, what are some of the specific details again, Glory, in terms of when you're meeting, how mm-hmm. people could get connected or find out more about it? Sure, sure. Thanks, Pastor Andrew. We meet every Monday night, every Monday night of the year. If it falls on Christmas, we meet. Mm. If it falls on New Year's Eve, we're there. Okay. That, my heart is always touched by the loyalty and the dedication of the leaders. Mm, Absolutely. Um, I think once we realize how much God has set us free, we are just so anxious to help others get set free. Mm. And always, 
um, times like New Year's, Christmas are very oh, yeah. triggering for a lot of people, a yep. lot of people struggling with all these relationships. So that's a time when you really do need to have the program hmm. and not say, oh, well, we're off for two weeks because it's right. Christmas. Yep. So we meet every Monday night. And really, it's based a uh, very simple program, 25 teaching lessons, mm. all based on the Bible. And then 25 testimonies. And these are Celebrate Recovery testimonies that are on video that uh, we receive. And they're all about just that, my life before hmm. Celebrate Recovery and Jesus. And it really is. It really is my life before Jesus because hmm. our third step is accepting Christ Jesus, hmm. surrendering to him and mm-hmm. following him. And then how I went through the celebrate recovery, what I learned, what God showed me, hmm. and then what am I doing now? Hmm. And they're just true miracle stories. They're, they're God's miracles. So can I um, bring about a little bit of clarification in that, like, so I want to make sure that people who are Christ followers right now, people who've accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, understand that um, they're still very welcome to this program. Like, so for instance, the way you said just a moment ago, you said like one of the first steps is, is accepting Christ and then kind of growing out of that. Mm -hmm. But for someone like myself who identified with, I don't know how many umpteen things you, you listed there in terms of relational Mm -hmm. concerns Mm -hmm. or issues Mm -hmm. or whatever, um, hangups and hurts and habits, right. Um, I can certainly still be welcome to come there as a as a Christ follower already to try and grow and learn and work yes. on things, correct? 99% of the people who attend are Christ followers. Right. And just mm. can't figure out why their life isn't better, quote. Mm. Yeah. Right? What is wrong? What am I doing wrong? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. in God, it's God who heals. It's not us. It's yeah. a program that was... Written. So it's an it's an incredibly practical ministry oh, in terms of abs- like totally. some of us pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars <laughs> in counseling, right? Where hey, yeah. check this out. Um, you're gonna better yourself. You're gonna become more like Jesus uh, without the incredible large costs. True, totally right? free. Yeah, amazing. Totally free. Just needs your commitment. Hmm. And your surrender, that's 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 mm. the step, surrendering. And that is probably the most difficult thing we'll ever have to do mm. yep. is to let go. So does the, I know Celebrate Recovery is a worldwide ministry. Yes. Does the Welland chapter have its own website that we can uh, refer people to? Or like yes. if, if someone wants to learn more about this right now, how, like what's their next step in terms of researching this or contacting someone or that kind of thing? Right. Well, Word of mouth, obviously, is the best. Yes, we do have a website, and it just gives our contact information, the email address, my telephone number, Okay. and then we start. We just start. Answer the questions, set up the, like, more or less... So you can also help someone discern whether this is for them or not. Well, we need to do that because some people cannot be in a group. They have such high anxiety, Hmm. such high anxiety. It breaks my heart Hmm. and they cannot be in a group. Hmm. They Hmm. do require that one-on-one. Yes. So praise God that that's out there for them too. Wonderful. But if they can um, be in a group and because that really is... the premise of Celebrate Recovery is yep. you don't walk alone. You'll never make it alone. You yep. need the support of the Celebrate Recovery family. The bonding is amazing. Hmm. They're, we often say our Celebrate Recovery family, and they are with them, closer than probably a real yep. blood family, and not to show any disrespect, but yeah. you're just doing life with them, and you don't, have to have a pretense you can just be who you are you can speak about your character defects you can Mm. say what you're struggling with and they understand 